the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible is one story. It's holy enough in our lives. Day 117, Proverbs 1 to 5. Wisdom not found in this world. Solomon, who candidly revealed what wisdom was through Proverbs, stressed that the source of wisdom was in the attitude of a fearing God. First point. There is a difference between what the world teaches and what the Bible teaches. The world teaches that wisdom is about understanding how the world works and how to go about earthly situations. However, the Bible teaches that true wisdom is blessing, forgiveness, love, and mercy. The Bible furthermore teaches that living according to God's will and God's laws is true wisdom. Solomon recorded in Proverbs that obeying God was true wisdom. He was able to confidently state this as he himself received wisdom from God. Solomon knew that wisdom came from God and that wisdom comes from believing in God. Second point, Isaac, Solomon, Samuel, and Timothy all heard their fathers lovingly say, My son. Isaac once asked his father Abraham, The fire and wood are here, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? And so Abraham answered, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. Isaac was ultimately able to learn about obedience through his father. David also taught his son Solomon. When the time drew near for David to die, he gave charity to Solomon, his son. I'm about to go the way of all the earth, he said. So be strong, act like a man, and observe what the Lord, your God, requires. Walk in obedience to him and keep his decrees and commands, his laws and regulations as written in the laws of Moses. Do this so that you may prosper in all you do and wherever you go. David prayed to God that his son would follow God. Solomon later uses the term, my son, multiple times in Proverbs. This is something that a father says to a son and also what a teacher says to his student. As such, Solomon used my son in Proverbs to teach his sons and students about true wisdom. Solomon emphasized the importance of discipline and punishment. Discipline is love. Disciplining someone comes with a hope for them to become a better person. Third point. Solomon taught that wisdom comes from God. Solomon was someone who received a great deal of wisdom from God. God gave him wealth on top of wisdom for the reason that he did not seek material wealth. Solomon desired for wisdom in order for him to rule over God's people wisely. After experiencing God's wisdom, Solomon confidently recorded that his wisdom came from God. He recorded that true wisdom came from the heart more so than the brain. Fourth point, Solomon taught how to live a filling life. There is no one who had as much wealth as Solomon. All King Solomon's goblets were gold and all the household articles in the palace of the forest of Lebanon were pure gold. Nothing was made of silver because silver was considered of little value in Solomon's days. But rather than being consumed by his wealth, Solomon said, Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. 
then your buns will be filled to overflowing and your butts will brim over with new wine. This was wisdom Solomon had learned from Moses. Solomon furthermore elaborated on the advantages of living a wise life. This can be seen in Proverbs 3 where he uses the terms do this, which is followed by if you do, this will happen. Fifth point, wisdom is not something that you can maintain for the rest of your life. Solomon emphasized the importance of a heart when it came to wisdom. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Wisdom is not something one can have once and for all. A father's wisdom does not get transferred automatically to his son. That is why it is necessary to work hard to become wise. But ironically, Solomon had a period where his heart left God. Right from the start, Moses taught to put all your heart into serving God. God told Joshua to be brave and courageous. David said that he wished for his words and his heart to face God. Jesus said that we should learn his humble heart. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 